so honored today to have as our special guest Alan and Marilyn Bergman and um, Marilyn's going to be speaking later on behalf of the movie Yentl. My name is Emmanuel Shriki, and um, well, today is the first day of this screening series where we're screening Yentl. I'm here specifically talking about um, an organization I'm a part of called Raise Hope for Congo, which is about the em empowering the women of Congo. Enough, it, their organization is all about helping fight crimes against humanity. We're at the Cove premiere, and this is Kat Kramer's films that changed the world. Had to have the Cove because, you know, a lot of movies say that they're making changes. This film really is changing the world. I'm so honored to have you here today, but what are you most looking forward to with the young activists that are going to be here this afternoon? Well, when we started the movie, I, I really wanted the movie to inspire a legion of activists to you know, confront ocean problems. I mean, to me, all the awards are the collateral of what happens on the way to trying to solve the issues, hopefully. Sunset Gower Studios here in Hollywood. Preparations are underway for the preview of a new documentary called Elephants and Man, A Litany of Tragedy. The red carpet event is tonight and is part of Kat Kramer's films that changed the world series. Say that just because it's better doesn't make it right. Just because the, the situation for the elephants now may be better, it's still not where they belong. At the zoo, yeah, yeah. because they elephants literally walk 100, you know, 10, 20, 40, 50, 100 miles a day. Yeah, and when yeah. you see an elephant in the zoo, they're really terribly troubled. They're suffering physically and mentally. They're nowhere near what you would see in the wild. This really is a world premiere to spread awareness about elephants in captivity. And um, I'm very proud to be having it tonight as the kickoff. Well, I think, you know, she's just tackling the most amazing things. Documentary film, when it gives you, you know, profound information is, it, is at least as good as the, as the best drama because it gives you something unbelievable and something that's true and something that can be heartwarming or heart-wrenching. We're together at the historic Sunset Hour Studios in Hollywood, which is the home for my screening series, Cat Kramer's Films That Changed the World. And we're here preparing for the next screening in your series, the world premiere of Elephants and Man, A Litany of Tragedy, on January 20th. I look for films just like my father, Stanley Kramer, made movies with social issues. And I'm, in my own small way, I'm trying to carry on his legacy by having the screening series. And I wanted to do something on the bullying crisis. Um, I mean, you hear it's, it's out there every day, and especially about homophobia and school violence. Uh, that's why I'm so glad that Kat, her film series, Kat Kramer's Films That Changed the World, um, this is the fourth in the series, and we're having a screening on Sunday here in L.A., and it gets the word out. The film becomes a tool to educate teachers and students. Besides the students, the teachers and the parents have to really look at these issues. Yeah, hopefully this film uh, is played in schools and PTA meetings and churches and etc. The ladies Lily Tomlin and Kat Kramer, uh, best of luck to you with your film. Thank you so much. And this film specifically is about homophobia, which is, I mean, it, it hits on bullying, but the homophobia is even more of a crisis. Was it emotional being the narrator, you know, doing this movie? Oh yes, of course I felt the obligation to be really, to, to do the best job I could, but I was also proud to be asked and to be a part of it. Welcome to Cat Kramer's Films That Changed the World. The official world premiere of Teach Your Children Well. In fact, my fears were nothing compared to the fears and hopelessness that those young people who ended their lives must have felt. I'm just one person who's been through bullying. Many of you here have probably seen bullying. Um, and I'm thankful for something like this to come out so people can understand that. We're all human. We all deserve respect. 
we all deserve to be happy. Today, every inhabitant of this planet must contemplate the day when this planet may no longer be habitable. Neville Shoot bought the most appalling concept of all to a mainstream audience. For me, it was real. Just penetrated every bone of my body. I've never reached the end of it without having tears in my eyes. It was a serious possibility for the world. Welcome back to Real TV Films. I'm your host, Tracy Stump. I'm here with Kat Kramer of Kat Kramer's Films That Changed the World. We're here at your Los Angeles premiere Fallout. That's right. It's the fifth anniversary of my series and the fifth installment and the U.S. premiere of this dynamic documentary. So you've done five films that have changed the world. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about Fallout. Well, you know what's so amazing, Tracy, is that this year is my dad's centennial. He would have been 100, if you can That's believe crazy. that. And this film is about my father making On the Beat, which is a famous novel by British novelist Neville Shute, who moved to Australia and he wrote this novel back in the 50s about the end of the world. We're so lucky that Neville Shute's daughter is going to be here tonight, Heather Mayfield. My mom, who's interviewed in the documentary, is on the panel. Actress Donna Anderson, who made her debut in my father's film On the Beach, and the enormously legendary Dr. Helen Caldicott, who's our keynote speaker tonight, and she appears in the film and on the beach, both the book and the movie set her on her life's course. So this is a really special night. Lily Tomlin, who's been so supportive of Kat Kramer's films that changed the world, but she happens to be a longtime friend of Helen Caldicott, so she's introducing her tonight, and they're all going to be on the panel. This is the third panel Lily's joined, and I think it's going to be a power panel. brought all that knowledge and awareness to us. I really want to support what Kat is doing. Mm -hmm. she, she supports activists. Yeah. And if this country does the right thing, Russia will copy and follow. But it has to happen from America. So a film can, can change a person's life. Change the world, absolutely. Yeah. This is Mike Wallace reporting from Tokyo, Melbourne, Moscow, Rome, Berlin, London, Stockholm. New York, Los Angeles. These and nine other world capitals unite for an historic opening night. Kings and queens and heads of state turned out all on one night to see on the beach. That had never been done before. And it did start the talks at the United Nations about disarmament. <laughs> With an open heart, which is, I believe, is the true meaning of compassion. Thank you so much.